Hi everyone, welcome back to Silas Infotex. Today I'm going to show you how to stack Cisco C9300 switches. Stacking switches can help you manage your network more efficiently by managing multiple switches as a single unit. Let's get started. First, let's talk about why stacking is important. Stacking allows you to manage multiple switches as a single unit, providing redundancy and simplifying network management. The Cisco C9300L series is perfect for this because of its stack-wise 320 technology. Before we start, make sure you have all the necessary equipment, your Cisco switches, stacking cables, and power cables. Ensure all switches are powered off before connecting them. So before connecting the stack cables, let's have a look. Stack ports. And we have also redundancy power units. Now let's connect the stack cables. Each switch has a stack wise 320 ports. Connect the stack cable from the stack wise port of the first switch to the stack wise port of the second switch. Or connect the switch A port B to the switch B port A. And switch A port A to the switch B port B or don't forget to make the cross sign and be sure your stack cable is connecting properly If the stack cable is not connected properly and you will face the error while stacking the switch. After connecting all the stacking cables, let's power on the switches. The switches will automatically elect the master switch or you can also manually set the switch priority using the command line interface. But in this video I am not going to set the prior switch priority. So after power on the switches, let's connect the console cable to the console port and connect to the USB port to the computer or manage computer now open the teratom or putty you can use any terminal to edit the cisco or to configure the cisco switch by default cisco switch will ask you to configure will display the dialog box so simply enter the no after configuring the stack verify the stack status using the command show switch this command will display the stack members numbers roles and priorities so here you can see the first switch active and second switch is standby we have another command called show inventory this command on a cisco switch stack provides Detailed information about the hardware component of each switches in the stack. This includes details like a model number, serial number, and description of each hardware and its modules. This command is useful for verifying the hardware inventory of the Cisco switches in the stack. Especially when managing the multiple switches. The next command we have show switch stack ring speed. 
This command is used on Cisco switches to display the current speed of the stack ring and what the speed will be after the next reboots. This is particularly useful managing and troubleshooting stack configuration, especially in high speed stacking environment. The next command is show switch details. This command on Cisco switch stack provides detailed information about each switch in the stack. This includes the switch number, role, active standby or member, and priority, hardware and software version, and uptime. Here you can see cable length, link, link active, sync, and so on. This command is useful for everything the status and configuration of each switch in the stack, helping with troubleshooting and management. Finally, we have so switch stack bandwidth command. This command provides information about the current stack bandwidth and whether the stack is operating at full or half capacity. So in this example, you can see we have the bandwidth of 320G and switch 1 is active and switch 2 is standby mode. This command is useful for verifying the stack's operational capacity and ensuring that it's performing normally or optimally. Finally, we have the show version command. Show version command on Cisco switch stack provides detailed information about the software and hardware version of each switch in the stack. This includes the Cisco iOS version, system uptime, image file, and more. Finally, ensure all switches are functioning correctly and that the stack is stable. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. See you on next video. Thank you.